today. Yeah, it sure is, Mac. We have a glass of your coldest beer in my mail if you've got it. I picked up a couple of letters for you. Thanks. I still say we ought to do something about it. Forget it. We're lucky to be alive, I tell you. The best thing we can do is stay away from that town from now on. Who are the freeloaders, Mac? A couple of saddle traps. Claim to get trimmed in a poker game. You know how it is. Well, now, what we got to do is find ourselves a couple of jobs. It'll take us at least a whole season to get back to where we were before, ready? If we are lucky, you mean. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Did I hear you fellas mention something about Redding? That's right. Redding, Kansas. Here's your mail, Joe. Well, what about Redding, Kansas? Is that where you're from, mister? No, but I've got a relative living there. What's wrong with the town? Well, if you've got a relative there, you better tell him to clear out while he's still in one piece. It's run by a gang of card shopping gunslingers. Well, maybe you fellas are wrong. Maybe you made a mistake. Maybe you just fell in with a couple of tin horns. <laughs> there are a lot more than that there, mister. And they play rough, too. I caught one dealing off the bottom. And I made the mistake of calling him on it. He had the fastest draw of any man I ever saw in my life. He was just dying to plug us, too, if we made just one move. What was his name? Do you remember? I'm not likely to forget it for a long time. It was Johnny Daniels. The meanest sidewinder I ever hoped to see in my life. You're a liar. Now, wait a minute. What's the big idea? Johnny Daniels is my brother. Let's get out of here. Just a minute. Now, maybe you fellas made a mistake in saying who cheated the cards. I'm waiting to hear you say you're dead. We didn't know you were his brother. If it had me, we'd have kept quiet. We're not looking for trouble. I'm still waiting to hear you say you made a mistake. Well? We didn't make no mistake. He cheated us. John Daniels. Stop it, Joe. Stop it. You won't make him crawfish. You'll kill him if you keep beating him like that. And uh, you heard what they said about Johnny, didn't you? Yes, I know, I know. Look, Joe, maybe he was drunk. Maybe he made a mistake. Maybe it was somebody else. Now, come on, cut it out. All right, you fellas outside and keep riding. Thanks. <laughs> you figure on shooting, Joe? I don't know yet. Somebody take a shot at you on the road? Wait just a minute, I'll get my hog legs out of the boathouse. Now, just a minute, Cap. Nobody shot at me. At least, not yet, anyway. Well, what in tarnation goes on there? You come busting in like you was on fire. Start packing enough cartridges to fight a war. And you're getting ready to strap on those two guns you haven't even touched in five years. Johnny's dead, Cap. Somebody killed him. Johnny? Your kid brother? Yeah. How'd it happen? Well, I don't know. But I'm gonna find out. Here, Cap. I want you to read this. 
Dear sir, enclosed you will find the last will and testament of your brother, John Daniels. My instructions were to send this to you in event of his death, which occurred on April 12, 1874, of a gunshot wound. George Connolly, President, Reading National Bank, Reading, Kansas. I'm sure sorry, Joe. Thanks, Scott. Things like that happen. There's nothing you can do about it now. Yes, there is. I can find the man who murdered him. Just a minute. This letter didn't say anybody murdered him. You're going off half-cocked. Well, he was murdered, all right, Cap. I'm sure of that. Because nobody could have beaten Johnny in a fair draw. Except you. Maybe. Maybe. Now, you listen to me a minute. You're only guessing. But even if you're right, even if it wasn't a fair fight, you're forgetting something. You're still on the wanted list in Kansas on an outlaw charge. I'm not forgetting that either. As soon as I find the man who killed Johnny, I'll take care of it. Uh, why don't you go to Kansas City and apply for a pardon on those charges? Uh, they're only a hangover from the war, and you've been meaning to clear them up for some time now. Yeah. All right. I'll do that. Later. Uh, do it first. It'll take you a week or so and give you time to simmer down a little. Joe, if you hunt a man down and kill him, you'll really be an outlaw. And they don't pardon you for things like that. Yeah, I know that. So long, Cap. Take care of things, will you? you back to Kansas after all this time. Oh, just a little personal business. Well, nice to have seen you, Matt. I'll look you up when I'm finished. I thought maybe you'd like to ride to Kansas City with me. Straighten out those old charges that are still out against you. Those charges of outlawry were a hangover from the war. You can't arrest me for them. Arrest you? Who said anything about that? Now, don't tell me you rode fair out here to the border just for the exercise. No. No, you heard about Johnny and knew I'd be on my way. Don't try to stop me, Matt. I'm sorry about your brother. I really am. But what you have in mind won't help matters any. I'm talking to you as a friend now. Turn around and go back to your ranch, Joe. Thanks anyway, Matt. But how do you know what I've really got in mind? Maybe it's perfectly legal. Killing people isn't legal. No, but straighten out Johnny's affairs is. He owned a half interest in the saloon. He willed it to me. That's why I'm going to Redding. That isn't the real reason, and you and I both know it. You want to look up the man who killed him. I know how you felt about your brother. Yeah. Yeah, Johnny was a wonderful kid. He was honest and clean. And somebody dry ghosted him. There's no proof of that. I'll get the proof. There's nobody could have beaten Johnny in a fair draw. Now, you'd better move out of the way unless you want to draw on me. I'm not going to try to outshoot you, Joe. But I'll have to if you kill a man. You know that, don't you? Yeah, I know it. I'll try and keep out of your way. All right, boys. Let him by. Just a minute, Marshal. I think we ought to arrest this man. I'm giving the orders, Jethro. I said let him through. 
If you're afraid of him, Marshal, I'm not. I'll handle it, Matt. Take it easy, Joe. He doesn't know any better. It's time he learned. I'm coming through. Don't do anything foolish. I just winged him in the shoulder. He'll be all right. I don't know what got into him. You better keep him away from me. I don't want to have to shoot him again. be my message. I'll answer it and I'm ready to. Get away from that counter, Jethro. I don't like the way you smell. Have no good deputy brother of yours didn't blow his head off. Give that to me. That'll be two dollars and twenty cents. It's a collect message. Now what? Well, I'll go tell the boss. You round up clock right away. I expect we'll be going for a little ride. Look. Now, this one must be Daniel. Same signals, right? Right. Now, if it is Daniel's, take off your hat. Then ride on and circle back as soon as you're out of his sight. I got it, Fred. Been riding in this direction long, stranger? Yeah, quite a while. Why? I'm looking for my saddle string. We all got out of the corral last night, six of them. One of them was a big palomino. Say, you didn't happen to see any loose horses today, did you? No, I haven't seen a one of them. Well, they're probably all up in the hills. That means I'll be riding all night long and I'm out of tobacco. You got the makings on you? Yeah, I believe I have. Here, help yourself. Thanks. How far is the town of Reading from here? Oh, about 10 or 12 miles. Just keep on this trail. You can make it by dark easy. You live there? Yeah, when I'm not chasing my horses. Nice town. Uh -huh. Do you happen to know a man by the name of John Daniels by any chance? Only him slightly, that's all. I heard he was killed a while back. Are you a friend of his? I'm his brother. Oh. Do you know anything about how he was killed? Not sorry. I was out of town at the time. All I heard was he got shot. Well, that's him, all right. Well, thanks anyway. Thank you, Daniels, for the tobacco. So long. So long.
come here. What is it, Dad? Well, it sounds like somebody's having trouble. I can help you see. Uh, be careful now. about ready to drop. The three to one odds looked a little lopsided to me. What'd you do to those fellows? Not a thing yet. I never saw them before in my life. Well, you better water your horse and give him a rest. Thanks again. I hope I'll be able to repay you for your kindness and hospitality someday, ma'am. I enjoyed it. I'm Kate Collins. Oh, and this is my father. Mr. Uh... Daniels, Joe Daniels. I'm mighty glad to know you, Mr. Collins. Daniels? Kin of John Daniels? Yes, he was my brother. Did you folks know him? We knew him all right. Too bad you didn't ask this fellow his name before you saved his life. Oh, now please don't get all upset, Dad. I... Well, Miss Collins, if there's something wrong, I'd certainly like to know what it is. You better leave now, Mr. Daniels. I have to look after him. Yes, but if there's anything that I... I'm sorry. I'll tell you about it some other time. Goodbye. Please, Dad. You know it's not good for you... The nerve to... of that sidewinder. Coming here to my house. Well, he didn't know whose house it was. He doesn't even know anything about it, Dad. I know plenty about him. He can't be anything but a dirty, rotten killer like his brother. That's not fair, and you know it. You can't judge a man you don't know by what his brother was. His name is Daniels. That's all I need to know about him. Sorry I didn't know it before. I'd never let you help him. You couldn't have stopped me, Dad. I'd have helped him even if I'd known. Kate, do you know what you're saying? You'd help the brother of the man who... Yes, I would. I don't believe in family feuds like you seem to. What's happened is in the past. John Daniels is dead. As far as I'm concerned, the incident is finished. It'll be finished for me when he's as dead as he's no good brother. And there are a lot of other people who feel the same way as I do. No, it's not right, Dad. A man should be judged by what he is himself. You'll find out soon enough. I'll bet everything I own that the first thing this, this Joe Daniels does is to take over where his brother left off with that gang of gunmen down at Slater's saloon. John Daniels? His brother and your new partner. I'm out. Let's go to my office.
Sit down, Daniel. Let's get down to business. That suits me fine. According to Johnny's will, we're partners. For the moment. Do you, uh... Want to buy my half of the saloon, or do I buy yours? What's your hurry? I don't want to be your partner. Either you run this place alone, that is, if you have the money to buy me out, or I run it alone. You'd rather buy me out, wouldn't you? Of course. My business. How come Johnny was your partner? Oh, I made the mistake of playing cards with him and a bunch of his friends. I wasn't wearing a gun, so I lost. Later, if you're trying to say that my I'm not brother... trying to say anything. I want to buy you out. I'll give you a fair price. I don't call a bullet in the back a fair price. What do you mean? Three men jumped me on my way here. I don't suppose you'd know anything about that, would you? No, I wouldn't. If I were killed, you'd own the place outright, wouldn't you? Well, uh, I suppose so. Well, I'll talk business later on. When I'm ready. Uh, when will that be? As soon as I find out who killed my brother. You wouldn't know anything about that either, would you? Well, he had enemies. You mean besides you? I'll be here when you're ready to talk. Who's the sheriff here? Nobody. The last one quit. The town council hasn't uh, got around to appointing a new one yet. Well, that's just fine. Thanks, Mr. Slater. I'll be back. Keep you covered from here. Sign right there. That'll be one dollar. All right. Daniels. You ever have any relatives in this town? Yeah, I had a brother, John Daniels. Hotel's full. Sorry. What? Got no rooms. Well, what's the matter? You had one a minute ago. I told you I got no rooms.
How long have you been here? Me too. I said, how long have you been here? That's none of your... Go ahead. Use your gun. That's what your brother would have done. I'll hold him for you. Whenever you're ready. Drop the bottle, Jethro. I think we'd all like to see a fair fight. later. I'll be back. Anytime, Daniel. In case there's anybody who doesn't know why I'm here, I'll tell you. I'm going to find the man who killed my brother. And when I do, I'll kill him. Got something. Oh, thanks. And thanks for the other thing, too. Oh, don't mention it. Not everybody in this town judges a man on his name alone. You know, I don't get it at all. What did everybody have against Johnny? Well, I can understand those card sharks in there hating him, but... But what? Well, I met a girl this morning who... Well... I don't care what anybody thought about Johnny or what they think about me. You know why I'm here now. Can you tell me anything that might help me? About who killed your brother? Yeah. I'm sorry, I haven't any idea. The general opinion, of course, is... Well, that's just opinion. It just wouldn't be right for you to judge. It's up to me to decide what's right. What is the opinion? Well, your brother got involved with a pretty rough bunch that hang out in there, you know. Well, the town's opinion isn't any different than mine. I don't like Slater's mob either. Well, thanks again, Mr. Carruthers, Ralph Carruthers. I'm an attorney. Glad to know you. I'll be seeing you. If you don't mind me mentioning it, I think you're going to have a tough time getting a room at that hotel tonight, Mr. Daniels. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I've already tried. Well, I've got an extra room at my house. It's just down the street. You're welcome to it. Well, that's mighty nice of you. I could certainly use a bed tonight. Of course, Slater's roughnecks taking pot shots at me is something I can understand and cope with. But other people? I like that cranky old hotel keeper. Why did he refuse me a room? Well, maybe I can't explain that. A year or so ago, your brother and old man Weatherby's only son had a gun battle. And the young fellow was killed. The old man never forgave Johnny. Was it a fair fight? Yes, as far as I know. Except that the Weatherby boy was a little inexperienced and not a gunman. And Johnny, well, he was pretty handy with a gun. Yeah, he was at that. Maybe that's the reason the Collins girl and her dad were so down on me when they found out who I was. Were the girl and the Weatherby boy going together? No. Kay Collins and your brother were engaged. They were. Well, then why? Maybe you'd better ask her about that, Joe. Well, I will tomorrow. It yourself. I'll see you in the morning. All right. Good night. Oh, just a minute. Did you see me drop anything out of my pocket during the fight? No. Did you forget something? I sure did. My brother as well. Now, wait a minute, Joe. If Slater and his bunch have found it, you don't think you're going to get it back, do you? No, I don't. But right now is as good a time as any for a showdown. That's probably exactly what they're expecting. I can assure you, if they found the will, they'll have destroyed it by now. And they'll probably be waiting for you. Yeah. Yeah, you're right again. I've got to have more proof that Slater killed Johnny. 
And I can't afford to get into a gun battle now until I'm sure I've got the right man. But without that will, I don't know. I help Johnny draw it up. I'll testify to its contents. Good. Well, I'd better get some rest. I'll get busy the first thing tomorrow. You know, I've got a hunch that girl can tell me something. Good night, Joe. Good night. I don't like this, Marshal. If Daniels is sincere about wanting his pardon, why doesn't he come down here and apply for it himself? Well, that's just it, Governor. He probably would, only he's out trying to track down his brother's killer. What I want to do is stop him, and I think this pardon will help. I don't know. Sounds to me as if he's no better than his brother. But he's entitled to the pardon, sir. The war's been over for ten years. Everybody else who rode for the Confederacy has been granted a pardon. That's not the point, Marshal. If he's a killer like his brother, maybe it'd be better for Kansas if I withheld the pardon. That way we could keep him out of the territory. Joe's not a killer, Governor. I've known him for a good many years. He's a good man, and I want to see him stay that way. This pardon will do a lot for him. If I grant it, you'll be held responsible for him, you know. Oh, that's fine with me, sir. All right. On that basis, I'll sign it. Thank you, sir. Daniels, would you come out to the ranch with me? The ranch? Oh, I don't understand. Yesterday you practically drove me away, and today you're inviting me. I'd like to ask you something. Is it true that you were engaged to my brother John? Yes, I was. At one time. At one time? Well, did something happen that... Well, why don't we discuss it on the way to the ranch, Mr. Daniels? What's going on out there? The town council is meeting there. They'd like to talk to you. Talk to me? I've got nothing to say to them. Maybe you'll change your mind after you hear what they have to say to you. Well, it's you I want to talk to, not to the council. You knew Johnny pretty well, didn't you? They knew him, too. They can tell you as much about him as I can, or even more. Will you come? Well, all right. I guess I owe you that much for what you did for me yesterday morning. The business I have here in town will keep. I'm sure of that. you get in? How's the shoulder? Oh, it's all right. Just got to keep the bandage on it a few days, that's all. I just saw Joe Daniels drive by outside. What happened? That's a long story. You better sit down. Well, first of all, tell me, what happened at the border? Everything backfired. After all the strings we pulled getting me made deputy marshal, I got sent out with Matt Furness, an old friend of Daniels. He wouldn't pull a gun on it. So you did, huh? Yeah, I did. You're just as fast on the draw, if not faster, than Johnny was. After all that, I got fired as deputy marshal. But what gives? Didn't you get my telegraph message? Oh, sure I did. But he got away from us, too, with the help of that Collins girl. And last night, he got stark. He's going to be more trouble than Johnny was. I've got an idea of a perfect way to get rid of him and keep our hands clean doing it. Yeah? How? Oh. Well, Matt Furness went to Kansas City to get a pardon for Joe on an old charge of outlawry. He's on his way here now to give it to him. He figures it'll help him talk Joe out of hunting for Johnny's killer. Well, that's great. He even has the law on his side. For now. But we'll take care of that. Where's the boss? He's not around. Tell me about your idea. Well, like I said, Furness is on his way here now. 
All we got to do is wait for him and make sure he doesn't get to Daniel. Is that all there is to it? You just changed your mind? That's all, Joe. When I first met Johnny, I liked him very much. But then he... Well, he just got in with the wrong crowd. I tried to get him to change, but he wouldn't. Maybe you're just imagining those things. Oh, I think it's quite possible that he might have gotten into trouble. But he wasn't bad. I know he wasn't. Joe, people change. Not Johnny. You're wrong. Really, you are. You're remembering Johnny as you knew him. When he was decent and honest and... The way you are. Well, thanks, Kay, for saying that. But even though you don't know what you're talking about, you don't know what kind of a person I am. Yes, I do. Well, you're stubborn and... But you're good. Joe, I... I wish you'd give up this idea of vengeance. No, I can't, Kay. Not as long as Johnny's killer is free. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, so am I, but that's how it is. Okay, maybe if things have been different, maybe we... Now we better go. All right. Slater in? I'm Slater. My name's Furness. I'm looking for Joe Daniels. Have you seen him? No, I haven't. Not since he shot a man in the street last night. Shot a man? Was it self-defense? I wouldn't know. Do you know where I can find him now? I saw him leaving town about an hour ago with a Collins girl. He was probably going to a ranch. Could you tell me how I get out to this ranch? Just follow the road out of town to the fork, then take the left trail. You can't miss it. Thank you. Good morning, Joe. Good morning. Thanks for coming out. But, Gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Joe Daniels. This is Sam Collins, who you've already met. Arthur Larkin, owner of Redding's General Store. Ed Rank, who operates the freight and stage line. Dr. Stanley Johnson. George Conley, our banker. This is the Redding Town Council. Dr. Johnson, our chairman, called us to a meeting this morning, Joe. It seems that the town of Redding is badly in need of a sheriff. And the council has voted to ask you to accept the job. Me? Well, you men can't be serious. We are, Mr. Daniels. We saw you in action last night against the town's lawless element. And you're the man we want for the job. Well, aren't there a couple of things that you men are forgetting? You know, first of all, I'm wanted in this territory. And secondly, I'm here to find the man who killed my brother. We know about the outlaw charge against you, Mr. Daniels. And also that having it withdrawn is merely a formality. As for your mission of vengeance, we hoped you'd forget about that. Forget it? What kind of a man would forget a thing like that? Mr. Daniels, your brother was... Perhaps I'd better let some of the others tell you. Arthur, have you got anything to say? 
Well, he was a bad apple as far as I'm concerned. He and his friends cheated me at cards, and once, when I tried to collect a bill that he owed me, he beat me up. Laid me up with a broken collarbone. Never did pay me. He held up my stage more than once, mister. My drivers told me so. They recognized him. Why didn't you bring charges against him then? Hmm. I tried that. My drivers refused to testify. Didn't want their heads blown off. And besides, he always had five or six of his pals ready to testify that he never left the saloon. I might as well tell you men right now that I don't believe one-tenth of the things that I've heard about Johnny. And even if I did, it wouldn't change my mind. Sure, all of you probably thought you had a reason for killing Johnny. But I hope none of you did it. Because whoever did is going to pay. Mr. Daniels. As sheriff, you'll have the authority to seek out the man you want and bring him to justice. With a proper trial before a judge and a jury. Proper trial? You mean the kind Johnny got? But that's just it, Joe. We need an honest man to be sheriff. Someone who has the courage to enforce the law. These men are all businessmen, representing the whole community. Can't you see, Joe? They don't care if Johnny was on the wrong side of the law. We do need you, Joe. You proved you weren't afraid of Slater and his hoodlums, and they're the ones we're really after. Well, thanks for the offer, gentlemen, but I can't accept it. When I get through what I've got to do here, we'll talk again, if you still want me. Daniels, haven't you got sense enough to realize that that no-good brother of yours needed killing? Here we're giving you a chance to put right some of the things he did, and you turn us down. Oh, I told you men it wouldn't work. He's no better than his brother was. Dad, be quiet. I won't be quiet. Oh, it's a mistake to try to hire an outlaw gunslinger like him for sheriff anyway. We'll get somebody else. You're absolutely right, Mr. Collins. You'd better get somebody else. But tell him to keep out of my way. And that goes for all of you. Well, looks like we're as bad off now as we were before Johnny Daniels was shot. I wonder where it all will end. I guess it'll all end when Joe Daniels leaves or gets killed. We still haven't got ourselves a sheriff, and that's what we're meeting for. Anybody got any suggestions? Well, until we can get a regular or a full-time sheriff, I think we should appoint one. I suggest Ralph Crothers. He showed plenty of nerve last night in that barroom brawl. Say, hey, he did it that. That's a good idea. I so move. Second the motion. Gentlemen, I appreciate your confidence in me, but frankly, I'm not a gunman. I'm, well, I'm just a country lawyer. We know that. We'll give you all the help we can. We'll all act as your deputy. Yes. That's right. Why didn't we think of this in the first place? Well, what are we waiting for? Let's vote. All right, gentlemen. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Well, yes. looks like we got a new chair. Yes. <laughs> That's right. Well, good it was a bad apple as far as I'm concerned. He and his friends cheated me at cards and... Once, when I tried to collect a bill that he owed me, he beat me up. Laid me up with a broken collarbone. Never did pay me. Joe, people change. He held up my stage more than once, mister. My drivers told me so. They recognized him. You're wrong. Really, you are. You're remembering Johnny as you knew him. When he was decent and honest. My drivers refused to testify. Didn't want their heads blown off. Besides, he always had five or six of his pals ready to testify. He never left the saloon. Joe, people change. The Weatherby boy was pretty young and wasn't much of a gunman. And your brother, well, he was quite handy with a gun. Daniels, haven't you got sense enough to realize that no good brother of yours needed killing? Joe, people change.
rifle shot. You bet it was. Come on, Sheriff. Daniels? This man's a United States Marshal. Well, he was probably after Daniels on that outlaw charge. Daniels plugged him. Let's get him. them in there. Looks like Daniels was doing the chasing. like Daniels didn't do the shooting after all, but is chasing a man who did do it. I hope you're right. Let's get in there and give him a hand. Okay, you'd better wait right here.
Ralph. You dragged Ghost to the marshal, didn't you? Yeah. Now, how about my brother? Did you kill him, too? I didn't do it. Well, who did? We heard him, Joe. You're under arrest, Jethro. I'm not through with him yet. I ask you a question. Who was it killed Johnny? I don't know. Was it Slater? I don't know who killed him. Better leave him alone, Joe. I think he's telling the truth. Ed, get his horse, will you? I think he knows who did it, all right. Joe, the marshal was bringing you this. Thanks. Now then, who sent you out here to kill the marshal? You're wasting your time, Daniels. I'm not answering any questions till I get a lawyer. A lawyer won't do you any good because you're going to hang for killing Marshal Furnace. You might be surprised. Nobody can prove I did it. Everybody here heard you say you did. Doesn't mean a thing. I only said that to keep from being beat up. Confession like that isn't evidence. How about it, Carruthers? Well, I don't know, Joe. He's entitled to get a lawyer, all right. And the first thing that'll happen will be a request for a change of venue. What I mean is he can get a trial somewhere where a jury won't be prejudiced. And that kind of confession... I, I hope they prove you innocent. You and I will continue our little talk then. Let's get him off to jail. Somebody give me something to tie him up with. didn't have to shoot him, Carruthers. He's dead. Did he tell you anything? He admitted killing the marshal. Anything else? Yes. He answered your question for you, Joe. Slater? Now, wait a minute, Joe. Slater's entitled to a fair trial. I'll place him under arrest. Don't bother. like we're going to have more killing. Why don't you stop him? He can't be stopped, Kay. You know that. He'd shoot the first man that got in his way. Have you told him about your father yet, Kay? No. Maybe that'd help. At least it wouldn't do any harm. What do you think, Ralph? I doubt whether it'll do any good. Well, it's worth trying anyway. Anything is if it will stop this bloodshed. All right, Ed. Put him on his horse and take him into town. The rest of us will go after Daniels. Keep your hands above the table and don't make any false moves. Where's Slater? Bartender, where's Slater? In his office, I guess. Get him. I'm going to kill Slater. If you want any part of it, say so now. If not, get out and stay out. You figure Slater killed your kid brother, huh? That's right. Slater, Shut but... Up. It's your party, mister. We don't want any part of it.
Ready to talk business, Daniel? I'm through talking. Get your gun. What for? You know what for. I'm going to give you more of a break than you gave Johnny. I'll be waiting outside. If you're not out in five minutes, I'll be coming in after you. All right. I'll be out. Mr. Daniels. I want to talk to you. I've got nothing to talk to you about. You better get off the street. I want to tell you I'm sorry about not giving you a room. But I had my reasons. I know. I heard about it. I figured you was as rotten as your brother. But I guess I was wrong. I heard about how you fixed up Fred Jethro, your brother's pal. If you want to talk about Johnny, you'll have to talk to somebody else. You better get out of here. I'm too old to be frightened of guns. Yours or anybody else's. But I want to tell you this. You're making a mistake. That brother of yours needed killing. I wish I'd done it myself. Later. Don't do it, Joe. Listen to me. Johnny wasn't worth it. He deserved to die. I wanted to kill him myself. What are you talking about, Kay? When I told him I changed my mind about marrying him, he hit me. And, well, when Dad tried to stop him, he shot him. And that's how he became crippled. Oh, Joe. I had as much trouble with your brother as anyone did. He and his gang of cutthroats. He threatened to kill me more than once. And I was afraid of him. He ruined my reputation in town, but now I've had enough. I'm through being afraid. And because you were afraid, you shot him in the back. Well, maybe he deserved killing. Daniels, listen, I... But you're going to live with the knowledge that even though he needed killing, that you've killed a man by shooting him in the back. What makes you think I killed him? That Jethro kid said you did just before he died. Daniels, did you kill Bob? No, I didn't. And don't you make the same mistake I almost made. Who did? Put away your gun, Fred. Your brother killed the marshal. We were bringing him back here for trial. He tried to escape. The sheriff shot him. Sheriff? What sheriff? There isn't any. There is now. We appointed Crothers, Sheriff, this morning. Crothers? The sheriff? He's the man you want, Daniels. He's the boss, always has been. He was your brother's boss, too, and his killer. And he killed Bob to keep him from talking. I thought you said the kid named Slater. Why? Because you wanted him out of the way, too, and you wanted me in jail for his murder? So you and your gang could run the town? Well, gentlemen, Mr. Carruthers is your problem. killing. Well, we're still partners, Joe. Will you stay here and run the saloon with me? No, thanks anyway. My half goes to Kay's father. Will you make sure that he gets it? I certainly will. Good luck. You should have told me before, Kay, about what Johnny did to your father. Oh, you'd been hurt enough, Joe, by Johnny's death. I didn't want to hurt you anymore. I owe you a lot. You know, it may take me a lifetime to pay it all back. A lifetime's a long while. It's not nearly long enough. Well, 